Hey guys, welcome back to Learning Curve Tech, where I learn tech with you. For this tutorial, you are going to need Stop Motion Studio Pro, which only costs $5, and I actually have a video right up here covering Stop Motion Studio Pro in full detail, so check that out if you're considering buying it. You will also need a tripod, a phone clamp like this one that I reviewed right up here, and you will also need some sort of rig. If you want to make an easy stop motion Lego rig, check out the video above. You can also find all of the links to all those videos that I just mentioned in the description below. Once you have everything ready, open up Stop Motion Studio. Make a new project and then go to the camera. Switch your camera to the manual camera if you haven't already. And then make sure that your tripod is locked down and steady. Because what you're going to do is take a clean slate first and if something moves in between the clean slate and the frames following it with the rig in it, then it's really going to mess up the rig removal process and it won't look good at all. So definitely make sure nothing changes between when you take the clean slate and when you actually have your rig in the frame. So right here I'm going to set my focus. And once everything is framed and all your settings are dialed in, you can take the clean slate. So remove the rig and the character from the frame, and then take the first picture. Now put your character back in where you want it, right about there, looks good. Now from here you just need to animate the flying sequence, so I'm going to do that right now. And there's nothing really special about this, just animate it normally as you would usually do it. Just one thing to consider, do not put your rig in front of your character, or else it will basically be <laughs> impossible to remove. Now once you're done shooting your animation, play it back just to make sure it looks how you want it to. And now take in mind, I just kind of did this really quickly and just to demonstrate, so it's not a very good animation at all. But once you are done with your animation, go back to the edit page. Now on the edit page, click on the first frame that you start with the figure in the frame. Click on the frame and then click erase. Now this is where you will be able to remove your rigs. So first go up to the little rectangle in the top right corner. And from here, you're gonna select the blank slate. Now you can use onion skin over here to see the difference between the clean frame and the frame with the minifigure in it. So that's kind of helpful. And then over here, you can select the brush size, maybe about 30. That should be about good. And then I want to zoom in, so I'm going to press the little magnifying glass with the plus sign right up there. And then I can zoom in and move around. If you don't press that, you will erase some parts of your picture and that you might not want to erase. So make sure you press the plus. Now it can be very tedious, but just take your time and make sure it looks good and as clean as possible. And also, don't forget to erase the shadow or else it's going to give it away to your audience that there was a rig there in the first place. And if you mess up, make sure you press undo. Do not press the back arrow in the top left hand corner or else you will it will save your what you've erased. And it is very annoying if you save a mistake, so definitely make sure you press the undo. Now it is going to be very difficult to do in general just because if you're on a phone it can be really hard, especially if you have very big fingers. So if you have something like a stylus, that could really help. Now once you're done erasing for one frame, you can go and press this button up in the middle to take you to the next frame. And from there, you can go and keep on erasing. Now something I just found out is that you do have to set the clean slate every time you go to do a new frame. For some reason it resets to the one before the frame that you're on, so it was resetting to number two, which you do not want to happen. So make sure you go and reset it to the original clean slate.
as you can see, I'm not really trying to do a perfectionist job on this. I'm just trying to do this pretty quickly because this is just to give you guys an idea. So definitely make sure you spend a lot more time on this if you're doing a more professional kind of thing that you want people to actually enjoy and not be distracted by a sloppy rig removal job. Now this is definitely not the best rig removal app, but for somebody who's just getting started in stop motion, this is actually a really good rig removal app. And it's not just a rig removal app, it's also a stop motion app. As you can see, it is pretty choppy and it's not anything special, but it's a pretty good, pretty convincing flying effect. Now, if you're still here by the end of this video, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe for more stop motion and other creative tech tutorials every week. Also, you're probably gonna to wanna to check out one of these videos on the screen. That's all for now, guys, and I'll see you next time on Learning Curve Tech.